Hello, my name is Vlad, and today we will cover the CMDB Health Dashboard. To get to the Health Dashboard, navigate to Configuration, CMDB Dashboard, CMDB View. The health of the CMDB data is monitored and reported on four major KPIs. The overall health score we see here consists of three of those four KPIs. The three KPIs shown here are completeness, compliance, and correctness. So completeness uh, checks if the recommended and required fields are populated. Uh, it's important to note that with the out-of-the-box deployment, there are no recommended fields that are configured. Um, the compliance scorecard records the results of CMB audit runs. An audit compares actual values against expected values that are defined in a template. Okay. Moving on to the correctness scorecard. Um, this one checks if the CMDB data is outdated, if there are any duplicate CIs, or if CIs are labeled as orphan. Duplicate CIs are CIs that cannot be uniquely identified. An example of that would be two servers that have the same serial number. An orphan CI is a CI that was unintentionally left in the CMDB when it is no longer needed. So an example of that would be a database CI without a relationship to a server. Staleness measures if a CI is stale or outdated. That means that stale CIs have not been updated within a specified time period. The fourth group of KPIs part of the health dashboard is the relationship health, which is in a separate tab up here. So the relationship health, health scorecard keeps track of duplicate, orphan, and stale relationships. Now let's go back to the main health dashboard. The results presented in the health dashboard can get overwhelming with time based on CIs coming from discovery and from other sources. We can narrow the scope of the CIs included in this dashboard by using health inclusion rules. In the out of the box deployment, there are no predefined health inclusion rules, meaning all CIs are shown in this dashboard. It's important to note that um, these inclusion rules do get inherited by child classes. So it's important to understand that setting these rules can remove more results than you might expect. Let's take a quick look at the duplicate CIs within the correctness uh, dashboard. So let's say we wanna use health inclusion rules to exclude the printer CI from being shown under a duplicate CI. So we can do that by going to the CI class manager and locating our printer CI first. Okay, and you can notice there's a health module here. We expand that and here are our health inclusion rules. So right now there are no uh, rules that are set up. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna set up a condition that says name is empty. And we're gonna apply that to the duplicate metric because that's where it's, uh, this information is displayed. So essentially this condition is saying, show me all printers where name is empty which would mean none of them. So let's save this condition. Here's the condition. Now let's go back to the dashboard and verify the results. So after creating that rule, we have to rerun the scheduled job that refreshes uh, those specific health metrics. And in this case will be the correctness uh, job. So let's dive into that execute so essentially now it's it's re refreshing the correctness um, scorecard so the all health results that are generated for the health dashboard um, are are generated by these five scheduled jobs and it's it's an important it's important to note that out of the box these jobs are disabled so uh, if you want your health dashboard to display any information you would need to set these to active so now let's go back to the health dashboard here. Okay, there we go. Now we're only seeing the CMDB CI computer. Printers are now excluded. So in addition to any health inclusion rules, uh, identification inclusion rules also indirectly impact what appears in the CMDB health dashboard. That's it for the CMDB health dashboard. Thanks for tuning in.